Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to crawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the lovely, lovely shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror and sci-fi, and really anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you enjoy tonight's offerings. Content for the Blood God. On with the show. Tonight... I have The Dinner Party. It's a comedy short film by Short Frame, award-winning short films. So I'm gonna sub to these guys, give them a like. Um, most of the time I cover sci-fi, well, mostly horror. Uh, and sometimes sci-fi, and uh, on the occasion, comedy and drama. This happens to be one of them. Um, you know, broaden your horizons and all that kind of good stuff. So, uh, in uh, the spirit of that, let's check out the dinner party. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Can't do what? I can predict everything that's gonna happen from the moment they arrive to the little kiss on the cheek goodbye, and I just can't fucking do it. You can always stick your tongue down her throat on the kiss goodbye. Well, that might surprise her, though, I guess. Not you. They come in, they take their coats. Everyone talks in a big hurry. At least if we haven't got four long hours ahead of us. Ooh. We self-medicate with alcohol, lots of things to discuss, different issues. Uh, everyone laughs a lot. <laughs> and then later, no one can say exactly what it was that was so witty. Some compliments on the food, a couple of monologues. And then they start to yawn. And then we start to yawn. And then says, hey, what do you think about leaving, huh? And then we politely look away as if they've decided to take a dump on the dinner table. And we all stand up, one of us gets their coats, and then perky goodbye. What a lovely evening. We should do this again sometime. Yeah. And then they leave. Oh. Such cunts. This we talk about them. What the fuck? They hit the road, talk about us. What would make you happy? A blowjob? Let's wait till they get here for that. <laughs> That's another thing. A big surprise. No fucking surprises are predictable. You need to act surprised for their sake. Try thinking of someone else's feelings for once. He'll wait for a little opening. It'll be very, very coy. And then he'll say, go on, you tell them. And she'll say, no, you. And he'll say, no, you. And she'll say, OK, I'll tell them. And then we'll take in their news like we're genuinely surprised, like, She is knocked up. Someone run for a lottery ticket. And that's just the worst. How predictable our response to their so-called news will be. Did you know? I didn't know. No, I had no that's idea. That's nuts. OK, well, when they tell us, why don't you suggest that they have an abortion? Yeah. Tell them we can do it right now with a little vouv clico and a coat hanger. No, no, that would definitely shake things up a bit, wouldn't it? We do this at most once or twice a year. You can handle it. Once they've had the baby. Oh, Christ. Once they've had the baby, we'll see even less of them. Oh, God, Christmas cards. Look, here's our sunshine. Look, see, our little fucking fat ray of sunshine. Yeah, well, you're not the one that's going to have to go to the baby shower. How much do you want to bet they buy a buggy? A buggy? A buggy. A buggy to cart the baby around in. What do you cart the baby around in, yes. <laughs> I'm going to bet the odds of a buggy are pretty high. But you, if you had a baby, There'd be no buggy, am I right? Because that would be oh so predictable, wouldn't it? I just think we could just gaffer tape the child. A bit cheaper, wouldn't it? <laughs> like a baby Bjorn, but gaffer tape. Yeah, exactly. Allowing the child to be curious, feeding its desire to marvel at this new experience called life. Something like that, yeah. The child must be so relieved we stopped trying. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, wow. Tell me again why we didn't invite Ben and Lauren to, like last time. Because Ben and Lauren are your friends, and this evening is about my friend Rebecca's big announcement. God, you put it like that, I think you do Ben and Lauren a favour. And they come in, let's make them do a shot, both of them. A shot? Yeah, have tequila. I don't think she's going to be willing to do a shot. We'll trick her somehow. No, Tell her it's full of prenatal be, vitamins, won't we? Then she'll shoot him right away. Yeah, because she's just finished primary word, school and she's blind and an guy. idiot. I'll think of something. Idiot. <laughs> okay, I've got it. Where'd you go? I took the rubbish out. Oh, I've done that. Wow. He was sure that he had, he had left his ass. What can I do? You can set the table. Get it out. They'll bring wine, right? We thank them for it, we tuck it away in the kitchen. They never see it again. And we start the evening, we don't ask them if they want to drink, like it's just an oversight on our part. But I'll tell them we'll have their wine at dinner, but then we don't. We just have water for the table. And then in the middle of the meal. You know what? You should work for Al Qaeda. In the middle of the meal, I get up. I come in the kitchen and I bring back a beer for myself, which I open at the table and I take a long drink. Mm. See what I mean? And like, then he says something like, word, but not but one of those? Like, really? And I'm like, oh, actually, this is the last one. And then I kill it. Do you think they'd leave after that? <clears throat> leave? No. Really? They wouldn't leave after that? Where the hell are they, anyway? They might never come back, but they wouldn't leave. Where are they? If there's one thing that is predictable. Yeah, but it's 45 minutes now. They'll be eating very cold starters. <clears throat> Have you cooked the meat? Everything but. OK, it's Everything two hours now. Potatoes, nice. Isn't this what you wanted? Something unpredictable? Yeah, not if it interfered with dinner. <laughs> nice. Magnanimous and humane. Those fucking drips probably fell asleep binge-watching Friends. For which they switched their phones yeah, to airplane play mode. This guy's head in <laughs> yeah, okay, great. Yeah, if you take oh, yeah, my number in case one of you comes in. Yeah, like, that's uh, it. Okay, uh, thanks. Is it really possible that you care about no one but yourself? I'm trying to be helpful. No, Your help not. isn't worth a flying fuck anymore. Damn. Sure, I love to hold. Is this meat going bad? Hey, babe, this meat. We need to do something with meat. Yeah, shove it up your ass. Shove it up my ass? I'm telling you to shove it up whose asses. Up whose asses it should be shoved up is your two friends of yours, their asses. They should shove okay, it up their great. Asses. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. What are you muttering about? Two racks, one for each of their asses. This isn't like them, and you're not being very helpful. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to be being helpful? I thought my help wasn't worth a flying fuck. Wait, hold on. Shit. But obviously, I'm not saying. Will you just please just turn around and listen, please? You've been saying a lot of bullshit. They've probably just got their dates wrong, is all. And tomorrow when they call, they'll say how sorry they are. They had to switch their phones off during the late night screening of Kung Fu Panda 4 or something. <laughs> so they went to see Kung Fu Panda 4? Yeah, or something like it. 
And they had to turn their phones off in case they rang during Kung Fu Panda 4. Oh, yeah, or uh, it could be, um... I'm sorry, but I don't think I went to see Kung Fu Panda 4. You don't think? Full stop. Mm. <sighs> My problem is I think about you. I am one of those people who would get, uh... Amy! What are you doing? I'm going to bed. The meat's still on the counter. I mean, there's food everywhere. We're just going to let it go to waste. And aren't you worried about your friends? I'm not hungry. Amy, should you really be flicking through a magazine right now? What would you suggest I do? I don't know. Go over to their house, see if they're there. I need to stay here in case the hospital call me back or they turn up. <sighs> All right, well... <laughs> do you want me to go? What are you gonna do about it, big man? Man of steel. What are you gonna jump in your whiskey mobile? Go find the big danger. It's too bad we couldn't have one, because if it was ever abducted, what better daddy to save her? Well, uh, damn. Is that right? Uh I guess it would be important for you to have a boy, wouldn't it? So you could pass on all your accumulated masculinity skills, all your big man powers. Okay. Look. Do you want me to go over there or not? Keep the, uh, change. Got to be fucking kidding me. Is there a party going? Yeah, you're the neighbour. I'm an old friend. Come on in, man. earlier in the evening. Where's Amy? Oh, she's at home. She's not feeling very well. Oh, no. What? The flu? Flu-like, sure. Where's... Hey! Hey, we've been looking for you. Oh, stay right where you are, then. I'll get you another drink. Will you walk with me? What the hell's going on? We've been trying to reach you all evening, and you're having a bloody party! Yeah. You promised to wait for me oh, now. Don't worry, I won't tell it without you. <laughs> Should you be drinking? Let's cranberry juice. Who invited you to this party? Who invited me? No one invited me. We had dinner plans tonight, the four of us, and you stood us up. I'm sorry, but we did not have dinner plans. Uh, yes, I'm afraid we did. We put on a lovely spread, bought some very, very expensive meat, and then I come here and see that you're having your own party. Let me ask you something. Why do you pretend to like us? Why do you invite us to dinner parties when everyone knows you don't like us, that you've had nothing but contempt for us from the very beginning? Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. For Amy. Well, you asked. This party is by invitation only. We specifically did not invite you. OK, so you don't invite me or Amy, your oldest friend, Amy, but you do invite my friend, Ben. We met Ben at one of your dinner parties. I know how you met him. And he and Lauren have since become friends. You know what? Forget it. You don't want me here, that's fine. I only came because Amy was worried about you when you didn't show up for dinner. I want to know what I think of you. I think Amy made a terrible mistake marrying you. Amy and I have nothing, absolutely nothing in common anymore. And I'm sorry, but I blame you for that because it's so awful to have to see you or, or talk about you and to think she's going to be alone with you for the rest of her life just breaks my heart. Damn. Damn. Oh, nope, nope. Like, and you know it too, sir. You know it. 
You you literally expect you're Robert. barbarians. You and Scott both. Don't come here again. Don't call either. Not tonight. Not tomorrow. I can't wait to tell Amy. She's gonna love hearing about this. Oh, oh, oh. I wish I could say I cared. He's he's a he's a fucking he's a bag of dicks. And she is gone, gone. That whole time. It probably would have been better. I thought I would have been better if she'd left. Are you sleeping? Yeah. I had to buzz the buzzer so many times just to wake them up, and she was so sorry. She 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 really she wanted to stress that. She... Amy. No, come on, you're, you're being ridiculous. Amy, please stop. What, what has this got to do with me? She just forgot, that's all. You, you know, know her. You're a bag of dicks, bro. I know people like that, or I knew people like that. It always sucks when people just... Yeah, I, I, I know people like that. So that was the dinner party. Um, that was funny, and like watching a slow-moving train wreck. Like a bad girl. Yeah. Uh, pretty girl. Uh, that was uh, by Short Frame, award-winning short films. And, you know, um, it was... The actor did his job if you... Like, especially if you really hate the motherfucker, then he did his job. Like, you know, like... I was pulled into the whole thing. Um, I was kind of expecting something horror-related to happen, but no, this was just a slow-moving train wreck, like as far as relationships go. Uh, <clears throat> and I really did think she had already left, like uh, when he came home. And, uh, you know, and I'm glad that she just was ready to go. I, I really am. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and share. I love you all. Be safe, happy, and healthy. I'll see you on the next one.